haven't seen in quite a while, which is great that you're both in here. Mark Little and Beck Casson join us in the studio. Hello, guys, and good to see you. Thanks, Daryl. Thanks, Samantha. Thank you so much for having us on the show this afternoon. It's so great to be back. Well, we, we miss you guys. We and haven't you, had people in the studio for... I, and this is new. This is exciting for us, you know. But you know what? We are big fans of both of yours. Mark can do anything. Like, this guy can build houses. No, don't pump him up. Just don't, don't pump him up too much too soon. Anyway, the reason you've both popped in uh, is because, Mark, well, congratulations, you're in order. You are president... Thanks, Daryl, yes. ...of Master Builders Victoria. That's correct, yes. First time a rural builder has held that position, I believe. Regional, yeah, under this constitution, so it's, um, yeah, it's quite an honour. So what are your thoughts on becoming president? What is What have you got in mind? I can tell you're very excited, but outside the excitement, you have a passion for the industry. You, you know, you have been in the industry for some time. We're excited to see what value you bring to Master Builders. What are your thoughts? Oh, it's just Master Builders is just an awesome organisation. Obviously, I won um, Apprentice of the Year awards back in 1997. Back in the day? Back in the day. 1997. Half a lifetime ago. It was a little... Um, wasn't it? So, then that led on to obviously becoming a student member of Master Builders and obviously the organisation has given me just some amazing opportunities through life last year. Um, went up to Canberra as part of the National Leaders Summit. So, this is a great opportunity for me to give back to the industry that's given me so much. You got a taste for it, and you don't want to turn away. Uh, not yet. No, I'm still only what is it? Three days into the gig, so ah. yeah. <laughs> so clearly, there won't be as much golf being played. In no, the hopefully there'll be or... more golf. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> now you're talking. So there'll be, there'll be more um, more negotiations on the golf course. Is that what golf days, yeah, yes, okay. We, we All right. Now, Beck, we haven't seen you in a little while because you are also with Master Builders Victoria. Great to see you back in. Well. The town you love, Geelong, but you've been pretty much doing your thing from Geelong this whole time, haven't you? That's right, uh, Daryl. So ever since March and ever since COVID kicked in, in fact, um, we came back to our house in Geelong. And um, yeah, we've been running Master Builders from uh, from Geelong and uh, pretty much and our whole team, in fact, a big shout out to them. They've been supporting, putting our members first all the time, every time and supporting our members through COVID throughout this whole period since from their lounge rooms uh, since March. So yeah, really proud of our team and what we've achieved this year. And you're pretty happy with this guy uh, Look, becoming president. Many, many congrats. Congratulations to Mark. He's been on the board for two years. He's been the country sector chairperson uh, for the last a little while. And uh, we're very, very proud and very pleased to have Mark on board. And uh, yeah, just to clarify, he is the first country sector chairperson to be elected under this constitution. So it's a, a great accolade to him. And, uh, and it's really great to see a home builder uh, be the president of Master Builders. So we're very, very excited about that. It's been a, a long year for builders and uh, there's been a lot going on. It has been a big year, and do you know what, though? You may have been working from home, but you most certainly did not slow down. Um, you were a major voice in the industry and really, really had some impact through the COVID-19 restrictions and keeping people informed and communicating with them, you know, what the restrictions are and what they can do and advocating for builders to be able to get out there and continue working. What are some of the things that happened this year um, that impacted the industry through COVID and that master builders really kind of stepped in as a conduit between the government and the industry? Well, that's right, Sam. We've been far closer to our members than we have ever been throughout this year. And as Mark would attest to, you know, keeping our industry safe and open uh, has been our first priority. So Mark and, and other members of the board have been kept closely informed through weekly updates on what's been happening at Master Builders. We've been collaborating like never before. Uh, we have collaborated, for example, with the unions and with other employer associations to make sure that we can keep our industry safe and open. We made a commitment to the state government that we would keep our work sites safe and we've done that. Um, we have really stayed ahead of the curve and also gone above and beyond delivering on projects, for example, communications into the culturally and linguistically diverse members of our community, translating resources into 15 different languages. It's something that no other industry really has done in a way that building construction has done. So, And it's a real credit to people like Mark, to builders like Mark who have been out there 
every single day and have kept our industry open and kept our economy afloat. And it will be, the economy will be led out of this recovery by building construction. So, and as Mark would be able to let you know about what that means in terms of, uh, you know, the economic benefits that our industry provides. Well, just hold that thought for a moment. We're going to take a break because there's more to talk about. We can't let you go this soon. So uh, stay with us. It is the catch up here at Bay 93.9. Samantha, all thanks to Wombat Gully Plant Farm. Uh, the Womble weather is here and they've got new stock arriving every day. Joining us in the studio, Ben Casson from Master Builders and, well, the new president of the Master Builders of Victoria, Mark Little, one of our good mates here at Bay 93.9. So you've been in the job three days. What's first on the list, mate? Oh, I don't know, try and get through to Christmas. Yeah, that sounds like good. Yeah. Um, no, obviously, as we said, hopefully um, the building industry see Victoria come out of this you know we we just are such an integral part of the Victorian economy the, the foundation set hopefully this thing's behind us and looking forward to obviously working with the master builders team the board the council to just try and make the, the industry better well it's one thing that's been happening through COVID the building industry didn't close down but a lot of extra restrictions were put on it to make things a little bit harder there was, I mean, we could still all operate. You, you sort of obviously needed to do your, your due diligence. And I think at the end of the day, everyone wanted to work. So everyone was doing the right thing, which, which was fantastic because no one wanted to sit at home and, and not earn a dollar. Everyone wanted to continue. It's, um, yeah, no, I can see the outlook for 2021 is looking good. I'm, I'm very optimistic. And I think the building and construction industry has so many benefits outside of the initial, the direct spend and economic benefit in itself, bringing tourism and, you know, new cultural precincts or whatever it may be, wherever you see building and construction or development within, especially regional communities, the onflow effect to the wider communities is incredible. So you end up touching more of people's lives and, and local cities than just the developments themselves. Definitely. And when people build a new house, what do they put in? They buy a new couch, they buy a new TV, they buy a new bed. So mm -hmm. They go to the new local coffee shops, they go correct. to the restaurants. Yes, so the money stays locally, which, which is great now to, to keep that money here. And of course, uh, the amount of cranes in the sky in Geelong is unprecedented. Uh, so a lot of that is going to bring more offices. And uh, there's uh, several other buildings due to go up now. In fact, the one across the road, they've been going great guns on that um, and we've been watching that go up. So, yeah. Yes, that's one of our fellow board members, the uh, Deputy President, Jeff Purcell. He's uh, high up at Kane, so Jeff's doing a great job over the road. Big shout out to, to Jeff and, and the Kane family and um, and also to GMHBA, a fantastic local employer, of course, Mark Valena and his team. But clearly, as you've identified, you know, our, our building construction industry contributes more than 45% of our state's tax revenue. It's a huge contributor. And in actual fact, as you as Mark has mentioned, home building is really important. So all of those stimulus measures that have come through, home builder and the budget, et cetera, are really important. One thing that's really important for Geelong, though, we must keep on building those houses absolutely in those areas but one of the things is about land availability so for people like mark and others who are home builders that want to keep those houses going and want to keep that on flow effect into the economy we've got to have that land availability so otherwise that recovery might come to a grinding halt so that's a real shout out to the local council to make sure that we can still get that land availability yeah well that's the thing when you look at it now because uh, there's plenty of estates opening up but the houses are coming and we still need more and finding the right spots around here is a little tricky at times isn't it yeah, that's right it can uh, certainly be a challenge and, uh, and and everyone i think has been challenged throughout this year but as mark has said we're very optimistic going into 2021 many of our members have reported having a really strong pipeline and that's as a result of some of those stimulus measures such as home builder and others coming through which is really positive and as you said lots of cranes in the sky mm. to give that employment and make sure that people can keep that food on the table and uh, keep their jobs as well my kids are on repeat as we drive into geelong mum look crane 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 so 2021 is building 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 in more ways than one Building onwards and upwards. Absolutely, yeah. Geelong's definitely starting to go upwards, which is which is great. Vertical living in Geelong is, you know, I think last year, what did we have? Three or four cranes on the on the horizon at one stage. Now we've got one. As you said, Daryl, I think there's another two or three to come. Yeah, so, there's more to come. Yeah. And obviously, 
yeah, people we need to have the history uh, of Geelong. There was times when one crane was out of the ordinary. So it's and it was always a hot. It was at the hospital or football club. Yep. So now it's just so diverse. Mm, it is, and of course, uh, yeah, with uh, new homes, uh, we want more people down to our area. We we love people coming down here because it's a great place to live, as we all attest to. That's why we're all here. Absolutely. Well, in terms of the flexible working that's being put forward now, you know, Geelong is a definite proposition for people to be able to perhaps come and live and work in Geelong and also to live in Geelong and perhaps work in Melbourne a couple of three days a week. So that's definitely a proposition and, and certainly one that Master Builders is very much looking at in terms of being a flexible employer and, and our, about our you know employee value proposition of being able to offer that. So Geelong is looking like a great place and we certainly look forward to working with people like Mark and other members of our to build a better future uh, for our community uh, here in Geelong and in other places as well. Well, congratulations on all the work you've done, Beck. You have been an absolute star this year and I've enjoyed watching you and an enormous congratulation to our favourite Mark Little. Don't pop him up too much. Slippery slope. Don't pop him up too much. It is, no, look, it is very exciting and we wish you all the best and make sure you keep us in the loop with all you know, all the news that's happening for 2021 because we're all excited about the year to come. Thank you, Sam. Mark Little, Thanks, uh, Master Builders Victoria. We are proud of you and we love having you in and hopefully we'll see you again soon.